I hear stuff happening. Looks like it's not flooded anymore. So let's go down here. We're gonna be getting um, a lever handle, cause this is two now that have had that base for a lever, but haven't had the handle on it. So I'm guessing one of the objects we'll find is a lever handle. Okay, this elevator is going down. That's always a good sign. We're gonna die. So I wanna know what exactly happened in this mine. What the disaster was. Okay, here's a note. Something is going down. Something ain't right in the mines today. A man can sense when something isn't right. It stinks up the air, making us sweat. I heard someone say they were going to close the goddamn mine down entirely. The air compressor keeps breaking and we have no manual to fix it. We need a way to cut the ventilation pipes, otherwise we'll suffocate down here. So, I guess that guy who had the manual didn't get it back in time. So that sucks. Maybe that's it. Maybe they all suffocated down here in the fumes. Um, what does this do? Seems like they crush stuff. Do we have anything we need crushed? I don't think we do right now, but who knows, maybe in the future. Gotta remember that. Hmm. A projector. I'm not sure how they got here, but I think they relate to our patient's history. Don't worry. You won't need these to progress this evening, as they're an optional task. But we should at least give this one a try. How do click on it, so I don't know what to do there. We'll read another note. Air hoses clogged up. The bloody air hoses have been clogged up again, which means I'm going to have to puncture a hole in the rubber pipes to clear the smoke up down here, and I don't care how I do it. We had to seal the lower mines off to stop the smoke spreading. It's hell for the miners, and even though it's not ideal, it will have to do for now, Foreman. So it sounds like Things were just breaking up down here, and they just powered through it, which probably explains the bad working conditions. So let's see what this one says. I'll store important notes like this downstairs in the case for you. They'll be there whenever you want to have a look at them. Okay. Dan, I can't find the air compression manual anywhere. Which means we can't get the door to budge. It must be around here somewhere, and you were the last one to have it. Could you please find it and place it here on my desk, Steve? The things we touch throughout our life can stay with us in the back of our minds. Okay. I guess we just have to keep exploring and we'll find some way to Use the projector. Okay, let's read this note. Hide and seek. We slink and stir throughout the night, lurking through the unknown, relishing the places where only children dare go. Dank alleys and secret fields, 
navigated with the aim of reaching our adventures and illuminated destination, hiding from our foes, our lamp in tow. Okay, so it seems like the miners are poets. It's nice. So now we're stuck in this area until we can figure out how to fix the projector, I'm guessing. I'll take this. See if this works. Although broken and fragmented, they hold the key to remembering the way we were. Oh, I hope that wasn't important. Maybe this is what we need. Okay, so it looks like we used the uh, um sharp pieces of glass to cut the tube. So he, the guy said that he left the book past the blast doors. The manual for the air compression system. So I think we have to find that. Somewhere. The Devil's Chamber, part one. I hear the knockers calling me, deep down the mining shaft. The temptress of the sea is rolling. Brimcliff will have the last laugh. The miners left their homes that day to stop the devil within. They never returned for their supper, lost in a void and maze of tin. We heard the blast ring out the town before the world fell quiet. The women and children cried out as the industrial machines went silent. The waters are rising upwards in the depths where no light goes. I hear men screaming and begging, have mercy on their souls. So it sounds like a lot of people died in this, like a lot of the miners. I don't know if it's a good idea to keep cutting all this stuff, but, you know, whatever. We'll just go with it. Is this the manual? A spray of perfume and it all comes flooding back. Yep. This is the manual. For the briefest moment, everything is how it used to be. seems to me, it seems that maybe the problem came from Ether Institute. I think that's what it kind of sounded like. It also seems like we're trying to write the past. Like, the guy didn't have the manual, it was lost, and yet we returned it to him even though that's already a past event, so it's kind of like we're fixing things, it seems like. I don't know. it is. Uh, our readings, uh, they're showing that this, this is what's causing the symptoms of dementia in our patient. Or at least it's, it's part of what's causing it. Destroy it any way you can. Once the task is done, I'll be able to extract you from the memory and place you in another. I guess we're gonna just crush it. I guess it's time for a review. So far we descended into the mine, and we found out that the miners were uneasy, they could feel something was not right. 
Also, things are not what they seem with Phyllis. I think something's going on there. I think she has something to do with um, Jean's condition, and I just I don't know what yet. We also destroyed the relic, and that's pretty much all that happened this episode. I'm really enjoying this game, and I can't wait to continue playing it. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!